A study was published recently in the British Medical Journal that examined mortality rates county by county in all but a handful of counties in the United States from the year 2000 through 2019. The study then compared the difference in mortality rates between those counties that voted primarily Republican and those that voted primarily Democratic during the time period and found some surprising results. The study found that there was a significant decrease in mortality rates for both red counties and blue counties for most major causes of death. However, the decreases in mortality were significantly greater in the blue counties compared to the red counties. We know that mortality rates for many diseases increase with a person's age. So to make fair comparisons, the researchers used age-adjusted mortality rates in the study. This is a standard statistical technique used in public health studies. Basically, the age distribution of the mortality rate for a specific disease in any county is compared with the age distribution for the entire United States population. The mortality rates for each age group in the individual county are adjusted up or down by age group to co correspond what they would be for the age distribution of the entire United States population. This allows for a fair comparison between any two counties, regardless of differences in age distributions in the two counties. Also, results were presented per 100,000 persons to take account of differences in population between counties. The time period covered in the study included five presidential elections, but ended before the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. So the results are not skewed by responses to the pandemic, and instead they focus on the major causes of death, such as heart disease and cancer, etc. This figure shows the overall results for the entire population. In 2001, overall mortality rates were just slightly higher in red counties compared to blue counties. By 2019, overall mortality had dropped by 11% in red counties, while overall mortality had dropped by twice as much, 22% in blue counties. This is a striking difference. Note that the red and blue vertical lines in the figure mark inflection points in the data trends for each group. For both groups, the decline in mortality rates uh, were slower after the inflection points. The study also looked at subgroups of the population. In this figure, age-adjusted mortality rates for men and women are compared. As expected, mortality rates were found to be lower for women than for men in both red and blue counties. For both men and women, overall mortality rates decreased with time, but the decreases were larger in blue counties compared to red counties for both men and women. The study also compared age-adjusted mortality rates for three major ethnic groups, Black, White, and Hispanic. The results are quite striking. For Black Americans, there was a large decline in mortality rates between 2001 and 2019 in both red and blue counties, with only slightly more of a decline for Blacks in blue counties compared to Blacks in red counties. This is shown by the upper pair of lines in the figure. There were similar, though not quite as pronounced, declines in mortality for Hispanic Americans as shown by the bottom two lines. For Hispanic Americans, there was essentially no difference in the magnitude of the declines for red and blue counties. Notably, and worthy of further study, is the observation that the age-adjusted mortality rates for Hispanic Americans are significantly lower than those for both Black Americans and White Americans throughout the study period. In contrast, the results for White Americans, shown by the middle two lines, show striking differences between red counties and blue counties. Between 2001 and 2019, there was only a slight decline in mortality for, for White Americans living in red counties while there was a significant decline in mortality for white Americans living in blue counties. 
The conclusion that can be drawn from this result is that it's mostly white Americans who are driving the difference in age-adjusted mortality rates between red and blue counties. In this figure, age-adjusted mortality rates for rural counties are shown by the medium red and blue lines. Those for medium-sized metropolitan areas are shown by the thinnest red and blue lines, and those for large metropolitan areas are shown by the thickest red and blue lines. Mortality rates clearly are higher in rural areas than in urban areas, and this may reflect to some extent the availability of healthcare services in rural areas compared to metropolitan areas. Though for all three subsets of the data, people living in blue counties saw greater declines in their mortality than those living in red counties. This figure shows the results of the study broken out by specific causes of death. For all illness-related causes of death, except Alzheimer's disease, there were decreases in age-adjusted mortality. This reflects advances in medical practice between 2001 and 2019. Except for strokes, cerebrovascular disease decreases were greater in blue counties than in red counties. Two categories showed increases in mortality between 2001 and 2019, namely unintentional injuries, which includes accidental drug overdoses and suicides. For both these categories, the increases were larger in red counties than in blue counties. The decline in mortality from heart disease between 2001 and 2019 was truly impressive. About 40% in the blue counties and about 32% in the red counties. Though not as large, the decline in mortality from cancer also was significant. Together, these declines in mortality from both heart disease and cancer account for much of the decline in overall mortality rates during the study period. To sum up, this study produced several interesting results. First, it showed that age-adjusted mortality rates decreased for all Americans during the 20-year study period, which certainly is good news. It also showed that for white and black Americans, mortality rates decreased more in blue counties than they did in red counties. The study also showed that age-adjusted mortality rates for Hispanic Americans were significantly lower than for white and black Americans, and they continued to decrease during the study period. In addition, there was almost no difference between the Hispanic mortality rates in red or blue counties. This particular finding deserves more investigation. What are the reasons that mortality rates are so much lower for Hispanics than other Americans? Is it related to greater family cohesiveness, more healthful diet, less smoking, etc.? Did the lower Hispanic mortality rate continue during the pandemic? We would like to know. Another finding from the study that is quite interesting was the very large decrease in the mortality rate from heart disease, as well as a significant decrease in the mortality rate from cancer. Those two decreases were major contributors to the overall decrease in mortality rates during the study period. Were these decreases due mainly to medical advances alone, or did public health campaigns contribute uh, to the decrease? For example, during this 20-year period, there was a lot of emphasis on reducing smoking in the general population. It also was surprising to learn that it was large differences between mortality rates for whites in red counties and blue counties that accounted for much of the overall difference in rates. This study period also encompassed the introduction of the Affordable Care Act in 2010 which made health insurance more accessible for many Americans. The Affordable Care Act also provided the opportunity for states to increase Medicaid benefits for low-income residents. However, red states were much less likely to take advantage of this opportunity. Likewise, red state governors were gen uh, generally less likely to spend 
on public health programs than blue state governors. In addition, many rural hospitals and health facilities closed during the study period. These factors may account for some of the difference in mortality rates between red and blue counties. Finally, the study period ended before the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, and it would be interesting to see how much the pandemic is contributing to differences in red and blue county mortality rates now, given the reluctance of residents of red counties to get vaccinated. Thanks for watching. I hope you have found this video interesting and informative. Please view some of my other videos, and if you haven't already done so, I would appreciate it greatly if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel.